Hello, my name is Lilian Silva. I'm the Forges Specialist at Clemson University, and today I'll be talking about rhizoma perennial peanuts. So some of you might not be as familiar with it, so I'll just go uh, through a brief uh, overview. So let's get started. Rhizoma peanuts is a perennial legume with high yield and nutritive value that's originally from South America, and it's well adapted to the U.S. Gulf Coast region. In the past, there has been some resistance to uh, its adoption due to high costs and slow rate of establishment, but currently new technologies and varieties allow it, uh, its incorporation in the forage systems. Rhizoma peanut can be used for hay production or managed under grazing, and it's widely spread on warmer regions as further south uh, due to climate conditions, especially in Florida and uh, in South Alabama, South Georgia. Florida graze is this, uh, was the first variety uh, released in the US, and it is still the most uh, planted nowadays. Currently, there, uh, the University of Florida has an ongoing Rizoma peanut coach for selection, uh, aiming to identify new, uh, new varieties that can be used for ornamental and forage purposes. Among the, those varieties, we, uh, we have some that has been more uh, used recently. And uh, here, for example, on the left, we have a picture of Chico. And on the right, we have uh, UF Chito varieties. UF Chito has a taller and more upright canopy, which favors hay harvest, while Chico has short and dense canopy that should be uh, more suitable to grazing management. There are other characteristics that need, need to be addressed when selecting a variety to the purpose though. So forage go may be one of the criteria uh, that uh, should be considered when choosing which variety are, you are going to be using. In terms of uh, the establishment, so prior to planting, similar to any other uh, forage species, we should conduct a soil sample to determine the soil pH and uh, the nutrient levels in the soil. Uh, so we can, can, uh, uh, we can apply amendments as needed, especially for line application uh, that we need to be planning on uh, allowing the, the lime to react in the soil and uh, raise that pH up as needed ahead of time before planting uh, the, the perennial peanut. Then soil preparation is important if uh, when we're uh, planting rhizoma peanut on a, pre uh, on a prepared seed bed, uh, because this way will promote better uh, soil contact uh, with the root rhizome being planted. Um, it is recommended prior to, to establish to using non-selective herbicides when you're uh, establishing on a pre prepared seed bed, just so you can really start from a clean uh, stand. And uh, because this will reduce the competition of the peanut, the, the perennial peanut, and uh, weeds on the first um, couple of years, which is going to be critical for uh, a good establishment of the rhizoma peanut. If needed, during establishment, mechanical control of weeds by mowing uh, is a good option to control bread leaf weed infestation, but it is important to mow above the rhizoma peanut canopy high to avoid damage for, uh, for the growing points of the peanut and also to uh, for the leaf um, area that you, you have that are available. Uh, Rhizoma peanut is vegetatively propagated using rhizomes, root rhizomes, which are uh, energy storage structures. 
and uh, we do need to make sure that we are getting a good material that have been, um, you know, in nurseries uh, and has a thick, uh, dense rhizoma mat. And uh, the general planting rate is 80 bushels uh, per acre. Some general information about uh, yield is that uh, rhizoma peanut range is around 7,400 uh, to 12, um, over uh, 12,000 pounds of uh, forage yield per acre per year. Uh, then the digestibility uh, can range from 68 to 7 to include protein uh, from 15 to 18 percent. Uh, some studies have found that uh, under grazing, uh, we can achieve up to two pounds of game per head per day. And um, on the bottom, we have some um, information for yields from different uh, varieties of rhizoma perennial peanuts for a study conducted for two years in Florida. This, is, this was a really brief overview. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to reach out to this email on the screen uh, with questions. Uh, I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.